Bonjour everyone, welcome to a new video on my main channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that's been hitting very very close to home for me and that is comparing yourself to other people. You know, I never used to be one to compare myself, but recently I have been. I've been spiraling over the past six months and to be honest, I think a lot of it has to do with like the media we consume and TikTok and seeing like all of these beautiful people it really like impacts your subconscious mind right now when you scroll you're like inadvertently comparing yourself however i'm pretty sure i've come out of it now it was a phase quite a long phase one that i have never ever been in before but once i realized what was going on i was able to come out of it with a little bit of rewiring so i want to talk firstly about comparing yourself in a number of different ways we have comparing ourselves in terms of physical appearance and beauty and then the other major one would be like someone's career their life let's address appearance first because i think this is probably the topic you guys are mainly here for i want to start with this quote and i will always remember this from miranda kerr's book and don't know what word for word but basically she says in it you cannot compare a lily to a rose they are both so different Yet, when you look at it, you're not going to say a lily is prettier than a rose. They both have like unique beauty, unique qualities, right? And in a video I made in 2020 talking about how to not hate yourself, I said a similar thing. Do you ever like see a beautiful person and you may think, oh my god, they're like the most pretty person I've seen in my life. And then a few days later you see someone else, oh my god, no, they're the prettiest person I've ever seen. Yet these two people may not look alike at all and that is how you know that there is not actually one universal standard for beauty beauty is in so many different forms and going back to the flower quote you may be a lily okay your friend is a rose you may be like oh my god i want to look like a rose so bad yet you are still just as beautiful for me it's actually really hard to hear quotes like this when i'm in a low period because i'm like oh it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter so what helps me is actually thinking it from the perspective of someone else. For example, do you guys ever have like a couple of crushes and they all look so fucking different? Maybe one is actually physically unattractive, but they're attractive to you. Maybe the others, they're more like the male beauty standard perhaps. When I think about men, I never actually rank them in terms of physical attractiveness because if I like them, I like them and they're all like low-key around the same level and sometimes their personality may put them on top and then it makes them even more attractive think about that for women girls i know we're harder on ourselves so think about it that way you do not critique men as much as you critique yourself do you guys see where i'm going with this i think i'm not articulating clearly enough but what i'm saying is i genuinely don't rank men yet as a woman, I will rank myself, but in the eyes of someone else, perhaps they're not doing the ranking. That's what I'm saying. Like truly, put all of my beautiful friends in a room. I don't think I could rank them in terms of attractiveness. I couldn't. Put all the men I like in a room. I also cannot rank them in terms of attractiveness. I can rank them in terms of other qualities, which to me make them more attractive, but in terms of physicality, not really, because I would say I pick people around the same level. Two people can look entirely different yet somehow still be tens or still be nines whatever you want to rate them another example i think about is victoria's secret models if i'm looking at candace adriana lily aldridge you know the og models they're my faves i cannot rank them i remember seeing candace monopole when i was 15 going that is the prettiest woman i've seen in my life then i saw miranda kerr and i was like no this is the prettiest woman i've seen in my life then i saw jessica alba megan fox how different are they? Also, because of warped beauty standards thanks to TikTok, women, now we think, oh, we gotta look like a model, otherwise we're not pretty. Now think of this. Does Jessica Alba look like a model? No, she's just insanely beautiful. But just because she doesn't look like a model doesn't mean she's not beautiful. Same with Megan Fox. Doesn't look like a model. Madison Beer doesn't look like a model. It's like different categories of beauty. We have model beauty. We have normal beauty. Girl next door beauty. Fucking personality type of beauty. And somehow they all add up. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I know people at home would say, Smooth, it's easy for you to say. Or like, this only applies to attractive people. And yes, I completely understand how what i'm saying it may only resonate with people who are more attractive but let's say you're not the beauty standard okay i 100 percent believe and so do all of my friends that your personality will make you more attractive 100 there are people i've met in real life who are models 
and like in photos they're perfect and when I meet them I'm so bored looking at their face they're just like not attractive anymore and I can't pinpoint it but I definitely think it has something to do with personality and also someone that has no flaws is less attractive in my opinion when someone's like too perfect they're not flawed at all they lose some appeal because part of human nature is that we are flawed do you know what I'm saying? Do you guys know what I'm saying? If it's any consolation, I'm actually a very harsh critique on beauty just because I'm so fucking hard on myself. Yet, every single person I've met in real life, even if I've looked at their photos and thought they were average, when I meet them in real life, I think they're attractive. I think people are just more attractive in person because they have life to them, especially if they have like an aura personality. Like one of my friends, she has so much like facial movement, so many expressions. Oh my god, it's so attractive. She looks so good with it. If she were to freeze her fucking face like every bitch in LA, I think it, it would take away so much of her appeal. It's just, it's things like this which make me realize people's little, little idiosyncrasies can make them so attractive and we should really stop trying to get rid of our idiosyncrasies because I know I have like as my prefrontal cortex develops more as I accept myself more I am more happy with myself every day wait guys I'm getting a call from someone it might be Leonardo DiCaprio hello right okay yeah got it okay got it thank you oh my god guys I chopped my phone luckily I have case to fly <laughs> So thank you Casefire for sponsoring this video. See, she's all okay. I can't even tell you how many times I've dropped my phone on a night out and like it's tumbled down the stairs and it's perfectly fine because of Casefire. I've already been using these cases. You guys have seen these on my Instagram. This is my ultimate fave. They are all MagSafe compatible for the impact and ultra impact cases. I have all of the very high protection cases because I'd be dropping my phone, especially when I club. Case Defy is engineered slim bumpers on the corners to make sure that the case is 2.5 meter drop proof for impact cases and 3.5 meter drop proof for ultra impact cases. For the new iPhone 14 series, they've engineered and trademarked a twister design that includes revolutionary technology known as EcoShock achieving a significant performance improvement over the previous generation cases with over 20% increase in protection. Casify is all about protection with personality which means their cases offer three time military grade protection without sacrificing style. The cases are beautiful and they come in this wonderful box great gifts for friends and families especially if you've got like a clumsy cousin so if you guys want to make sure that your phone is highly protected make sure you go to caseify and you can use my code here to save 15 percent off of your order anyways this is just a little bit of a rant to help you with comparison so whenever you start for example you're standing next to a pretty girl and you're like oh no like i feel really ugly next to her babe a lily and a rose are very different strobe miranda kerr and jessica alba look very different yet they are still equally as beautiful. I would say there are so many negatives to also focusing on beauty as being your number one trait and the people at home who have grown up being told they're beautiful and therefore prioritizing beauty above everything, you will know what I mean. And this is something that I've really needed to dethrone. Is that the word? Dethrone, decenter in my life because, because growing up, yes, people would tell me I'm pretty. But I never cared about it. My mum never made me care about it. I was always like, I'm smart, I'm funny. If I had a crush on a guy, I'd be like, he's gonna like me because of my personality. Until some things changed when I was 16 and suddenly, bam, my appearance was everything. Especially coming onto YouTube in 2019. This was like the era where TikTok wasn't really around yet. So we weren't exposed to that many beautiful women yet. And like every single day, my comments would be flooded with like, you are so pretty, blah, blah, blah. And this really made me crave non-stop validation from people on my appearance because I never got the chance to fulfill it within myself, to self-validate. It always came from other people. So if people no longer validated me, I would be like, oh God, I'm ugly now. Like, I'm fucking ugly. Like, it, would, it was really bad. And this is why, you guys, recently I've had to go through this self-validation process. Also, this process where I had to stop comparing myself to other people and also naturally as a woman, you grow older, your looks fade, whatever, I'm aware of this. If you're someone who is considered less attractive than the norm, I also wanna leave you with this. There's a reason why incels stay single. Girls, we know, we go for ugly guys sometimes. 
I think, like, look at Madison B, no offense, but her exes, apart from Jack Alinsky, are... You always see pretty girls with ugly guys, and it's because of their fucking personality. If incels stopped hating women so much, they would get girlfriends. They are purely not getting girlfriends because of their personalities and because they hate women. Think about that. Think about how much personality impacts your appearance. Now guys, let's get into comparing yourself with your life. I feel like you can watch my other videos for this, even my previous video where I talked about divine timing, the path you're meant to take, how the universe will guide you. You really have to trust on that. Everyone is on such a different pathway. If you're comparing yourself to other people in school, they have better grades than you. It doesn't even matter. Like, what are you? You're in high school, you're in uni, you're gonna be in very, very different stages of your life later on. Life is also not a competition. We are doing entirely different things. When people try to compare themselves to me, for example, they'll be like, Simone, you travel so much. I'm the same age as you. I don't know how you don't travel. You can't compare yourself to me. It is so different. We're entirely different jobs, earning entirely different incomes. Just because we're the same age, it doesn't matter at all. Like, you know someone who could compare themselves to me? Another YouTuber, another person who maybe is an entrepreneur doing a similar job to me. Perhaps those types of people can compare themselves. But to sit at home in having a very different life to me, a different job, no. And I'm only using me as an example because that's what we do to other people. Oh, this person just discovered a cure for something else. And meanwhile, I'm at home doing nothing with my life. Babe, do you even have the necessary skills to make the same discovery as them? No. So why would you compare yourself to them? Perhaps if you were a researcher as well, you could compare, but you're not. So don't compare. Why would you waste your time? It just makes no sense to compare yourself and your life to someone who has entirely different qualifications to you, entirely different skills, all based on perhaps you're in a similar age range. It, it doesn't mean anything. In my friend groups, none of us ever compare each other. There is literally no jealousy whatsoever. And if I, if I sense jealousy or, you know, evil eye from my friends, I'm, I distance myself. I don't talk to them about certain things. It's because we all know we are on different paths. That's why we don't compare. And if one of us is doing better, the other isn't like, oh, boohoo, hope you fail to make me feel better. We feel in our soul that we will also get there one day. It's a little bit to do with self-esteem as well. If you don't believe you can do it, well, obviously you're gonna try and drag other people down. Obviously you'll compare yourself. Comparing yourself is such a waste of time and truly for myself, when I'm energetically weak, that's when I fall into such a slump. I compare myself, my energy's weak and I'm less attractive, like I can tell. Confidence has so much to do with attractiveness. Please do not underestimate personality, confidence and your energy. I'm posting a video on my second channel very soon about how to become more attractive energetically because your energy is directly correlated with your appearance, okay? And you will see in the video. So I hope this video helped you realize how stupid comparison is and also put into perspective how your beauty is so unique and how beauty is also subjective and that it really cannot be compared. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm off to collect some data. It is my final week in Paris. Have a great day. Love you. Ich liebe dich, tschüss. Fear fun, fear love, cash shout of dogs forever. Do the stronger for you. Norman Rockwell. No, I find your love for her. It's just me and you. I've got my team on my list. When it's bitch, I'm the neighborhood kiss. No, baby, kiss, kiss. You're in the yard, I like a fire. And as the summer fades away, nothing I can say. You write, I tour, we make it work. You're beautiful, and I'm insane. We're American made. Give me Hallmark, wandering under the one lover, make me happy and blue. Norman Rockwell, no high under the one cover, it's just yes, me and you. Oh god, I'm super my fist, it gives me a little gun speech, on the street with the neighborhood kids, sending off the thank you. You're in the yard, I like the fire, as the summer fades away, we can think of the same. You write out to a wing, you can work American May.